Well, hello there. <laughs> Welcome to a tour of my kitchen. Come on in. God, I feel so cheesy doing that. <laughs> Welcome to a tour of my kitchen. I'm so excited to have you here if you are a returning viewer or if you're new and you've just clicked on this video. Hi, my name's Luke and this is my kitchen. This was quite a requested video so I thought I would film a little tour of our kitchen. Now a bit of context if you are new here. I live here with my best friend. I've lived with her for five years, four years in this flat. We've moved in in 2019 in the summer. This kitchen is a rental kitchen so we don't own this flat. I live in southwest London in a tiny little cluster of a borough called Lambeth. And um, yeah, it's by no means a small kitchen or a bad kitchen, but there is a lot that we would change. <laughs> so we've just kind of added to it, popped our little injection of personality and colour into the space and made it home. I cook for a living, so this kitchen is kind of like my office. So everything has to be practical, but it also needs to look nice. Um, so yeah, we've just made the best of what we can do. So. Everything I feature in this video, appliances, storage solutions, and everything in between will be linked down below to the best of my ability. But I don't want to make it a long intro because we're going to get on to a long video, so let's get into it. So I'm sure you're pretty familiar with this kitchen, but if you aren't, this is the little entrance where you guys just were. You're coming through the door off of the hallway, and then this is the big fridge freezer. We have a run of countertops here with some wall storage. These are for the electricity and gas meter. And then we've got two cupboards, a tumble dryer, a lot of appliances. And you turn, you see what I mean about being a bit disjointed. So we've got our regular rubbish bin, another cupboard with a small patch of worktop. So we keep like our utensils and stuff. A little shelf above, which is very handy. Do excuse my tripod. So this is a giant cupboard. This has got our boiler in it. This is like our utility cupboard, a very small, thin utility cupboard. This is where we keep our vacuum cleaner, mop, brush, um, iron. I will be showing you all of this. A little bit of storage up there and some storage down there. Our recycling bin. And then this is the back door that leads to the fire escape balcony. We have two little cupboards here, our sink, a nice little shelf. And then this section here, which is like the main prep area. So we've got a cupboard, washing machine, three drawers, and then another set of cupboards up top with lots of other things on top. I thought I'd start with this section. So this is our fridge freezer. It's a very generous size just for us two. We have our little meal plan on the front and a shopping list on the back. So this is like a magnetic clip. So it's always good to know what we're eating for the week and if there's anything that we're running out of. These boxes are just boxes that I've had um, for a while actually. This is our vegetable box, two onions in it. And then this box, which I will not lift down because it's very heavy, is just full of drinks. So things like tonic, soda water, and that's all up there. I will show you inside the fridge. This is inside of our fridge. We've just got bits and bobs that we, you know, use, eat, cook with. Um, we kind of need to do a bit of a cull of all of our sauces. I can definitely check some dates in here. But yeah, this is like midweek through a food shop. So we've still got loads left. All of our different jars and condiments in the side as well. Water filter because London water is awful and some limoncello. This is what you guys will see a lot on my backdrop. So yeah, this is a long run of counters. So I have my KitchenAid mixer here. So this is kind of like my pride and joy. I keep this on top and it is plugged in. So you can just start on it straight away. Um, we've got a little pot here that I have all of my like uh, kitchen paper, bacon paper, grease proof and some cling film. I have a little style of moment here. Um, this doesn't serve any functionality, it just looks nice in backdrops. That fern is not loving life. This is my first coffee machine. So this is a Nespresso Virtual Mini, I want to say. I feel like that's definitely the wrong name. I use this just for a really quick speedy coffee. I normally have one of these before I head to the gym on the morning if I don't want to get the big machine going. Next to that, I have my food processor that also doubles up as a blender. Such a good appliance. I use this every single day when I'm not using it to process a spin or blitz food. The blender gets so much use. The two one appliances are great for saving space. The next to that, I have my air fryer. I know so many people love and hate air fryers. We genuinely don't know where we'd be without this air fryer. It is so handy. It saves so much electricity. It is. Amazing, this is a really good brand. We've had this over two years now and it's still going strong. So I'll link that down below with a little fruit pot on top that is definitely needing some fruit in there. <laughs> and then next to that, we just have the microwave and then on top of there, we have a little candle. We're trying to be careful not to cover the vents of the um, microwave so we don't light the candle when it's on. 
a little flower pot. This is from an antiques market. Our Alexa that will trigger. <laughs> but yeah, this is what we use for when we're cooking for music and radio. An antique lamp. This is just really nice to have on when we don't want the big kitchen lights. The Campari print behind is what we actually brought back from Venice. And we love it. It's just a simple Ikea frame. And then next to that, we actually have a menu that I framed from a supper club that I attended. It says crudite is tart and fondant. And then two vintage prints behind of some honeysuckle and some ivy. We also have the tumble dryer here as well. This is just um, a really bog standard tumble dryer. This was an empty space when we moved in. I don't know why they didn't put more kitchen cabinets here, but they just didn't. So yeah, we filled it with a tumble dryer. We don't use it that often, but it's kind of good for like bed linens, especially in winter when you can't air dry things. So yeah, I'll leave that linked down below. It was really affordable. So then up top is an abundance of cookbooks and pasta. Now, again, it is like my absolute dream. Like when I think about kitchens, I just would love a pantry. Like it's the, <laughs> it's the one thing I think would make me feel like I've made it in life. So yeah, all of those pastas we use regularly. And then these I grab a lot of these were from Primark Home. They're just little plastic storage boxes that I keep all of like my spices in. They're stackable as well. They're £1.50 for two, which is so handy. Oh no, maybe they're £1.50 each actually. Um, but yeah, I just keep those up top. We try not to overload the top of the cupboards just because obviously we don't want too much weight on there. And then inside is what I like to call organised chaos. This is pretty much like the whole of our food storage. We don't really keep food anywhere else as such apart from one cupboard underneath. So this is my bacon cupboard, which again, might seem a little bit excessive. And for the average person, this kitchen would be fine. For the average family, this would be fine. But as I say, I cook for a living. So I have like a lot of bacon supplies. This is like all of our spices here. Very well organized that we, you know, can do. So these are like regular spices that I go to often. Not so much regular ones here. Sauces and oils. And then we have more like jar, dry sauce. And then the top we've just got like crackers, cooking oil, more salt and pepper and a little pot for our garlic. So these are very well used cupboards. So again, this top section is my bacon cupboard. So this is all of like my bacon balls and cookware. And then underneath is like the excess of that. The blend jug we use for smoothies, Maggie's treats, denture sticks, wine. Again, slightly organized, but chaotic. <laughs> and then this cupboard again is just uh, dry store stuff. So Things like this is so handy. Whenever I see these, I always grab them. They're just little storage boxes, but they are so, so useful for like storing things. You can just easily grab them out. Again, I keep dry store goods in here. And then I have a little wooden box here. This is just from Ikea for excess stuff. So we have like crisps, excess uh, pasta, noodles. This is another little plastic pullout. So this has got flour in it and then just some little cheese biscuits. I think pull out is so handy when you've got deep cupboards because it means you can access the back very easily. Similarly, this is a box of all of our sweet treats. So we've got a giant bag of mini eggs and some chocolate and sweets and things like that in there. Sorry about the angles. Moving on to this cupboard. This is our pots and pans cupboard with our bacon traders. And Maggie has come to say hello. Hi. Again, some really clever storage solutions in here that I feel like really do help with the fact that we only have two shelves. So this metal rack is actually so handy. It might be hard to see, but we used to just have everything stacked in here and it just wasn't a good use of space at all. So this I think actually is for um, oven trays, but we've used it for roasters, muffin tins, obviously oven trays as well, pans, frying pans, a skillet, and then it's left so much room on the side to stack chopping boards and just excess serving boards. And then underneath, again, we love the fact that all of our pots and pans stack. So it took a bit of practice, but um, everything in here is so well used and everything stacks inside of each other. So we've got like small saucepan, medium saucepan, colander, sieve, little pasta basket. And then behind we've got like big, heavy, you know, frying pans, woks, that kind of thing. This is everything that I can use day to day. I know this might look a bit messy to some people, but we don't really have anywhere else to put these kinds of things, so we just can grab them. This little wooden bench thing was from H&M Home, and it's nice to just give something a bit of height. So we've got balsamic vinegar, a little espresso pot, soya sauce, olive oil, pepper, and then just some wooden utensils. And this little coffee tin I picked up recently, actually, from a lovely little independent shop in Dulwich. And then again, I just have one of my favourite cookbooks. This is Anna John's A Modern Cook's Year. I just love this recipe book. I think it's absolutely fantastic. So keep this out. Got a little ceramic pot that's got rock salt, regular like table salt for pasta, garlic salt, 
we are big on soles. <laughs> and then just other utensils and then wooden utensils here. I keep my other cruise there pot on top just because this is literally what we use every single day. Like I genuinely cannot sit this. How much I've used this since I've got it. It's just my favorite piece of cookware ever. Up top on this shelf to the left of the clock. The clock is from Nougat. We've had that for absolutely years. It's huge. <laughs> yeah, these pasta jars are just from Ikea. We've got three large and then two small. And obviously lots more up there as well. This is a little vintage pot and some vintage skills. I got this from um, Portobello Road Market, and then these just from charity shops. Obviously the recycling bin is here. Um, again, we just, we like to have two separate bins because we are on a second floor flat. We can't do runs to the recycling bin all the time, so we just have that. This, as I said, is the boiler cupboards. This is where our boiler is. And then we just keep excess towels and Maggie's coat and things like that in here, just so we can grab it when we take her out. Now this is the world's thinnest <laughs> utility cupboard that there ever is or was. So we have to be, again, very clever with space. It's Maggie's inspecting. She's not really a fan of the Hoover. So we've got our vacuum cleaner, iron board, a brush, and then behind we have a um, cordless vacuum and a mop. And then this is a little bag that I recycle my coffee pods in. We have the iron, dustpan and brush, hot water bottles, steamer and then up top we've got two bags of maggie's food and under the kitchen sink this is where we keep all of our cleaning supplies again such a good kitchen hack if you have um large doors with a large space like this it's really handy to get these over cupboards hangers this is just from i think it was from wilco actually and it's double stacked so we keep cleaning cloths and clean dusters underneath and then i've just got things like chrome cleaner laundry detergent glass cleaner and surface spray and then yeah, this is everything underneath. So this is our little medical box with medicine, Maggie's joint supplements and all of Maggie's things. More cleaning supplies, laundry supplies, a giant roll of kitchen roll, and then just excess bits and bobs. So this is the washing machine. Not really much to say about it. It was just the one that came. Actually, no, it's not the one that came with the flat. The one that came with the flat actually sat on fire, <laughs> um, which was very scary. So we have had this one for about three years. It's not the biggest, but it's absolutely fine. Does the job. So this is the Sage Barista Express Impress coffee machine. If you are in the US, Sage actually will be named as Breville. I bought my very first ever Sage coffee machine as a Christmas present to myself back in 2019, just before the pandemic. And I was so thankful to myself because when coffee shops were closed for so long, it still meant that we could have good coffee at home. Um, so it's a bean to cut machine. I get so many questions about it. I did film a whole video on how to make espresso at home, so I'll link that up there. But yeah, beans go in, makes the coffee, gives some lovely little cups on top just to grab and make some espresso if I want to. I've got a little knock box at the side with a milk frother and some syrups. Zara kind of uses the milk frother for like her hot chocolates and stuff. Can't recommend this machine enough, it's awesome. Next to the coffee machine, there is always a bake in this kitchen. <laughs> this is some leftover carrot cake I made at the weekend, so we're just working our way through that. This massive wooden block was from John Lewis, and it is so, so good. It's a really thick butcher's block, so we cut bread on this, veggies, it's fantastic. Little butter dish and bread bin, and this actually was from John Lewis as well. It's a little tea bag holder, so when you make a cup of tea, rather than drip the bag over to the bin, let's pop it there. And then this is our Kettle Toaster. It is the Jewelit Dupe. <laughs> um, I think these are, they're from Cookworks and I got them in Argos. I think combined total is like £60. They are chrome, stainless steel, really good to be fair. Um, you know, a fraction of the cost of Jewelit. I think Jewelit are so much better, but I mean, for the cost, you can't complain. So yeah. These are the double cupboards above. And again, it's kind of like somewhat organized, somewhat chaotic. <laughs> so we have all of our like porcelain cups here. So ones that we regularly go to, slightly larger ones for larger teas, um, a lovely teapot, and espresso cups, wine glasses and champagne flutes, and then on this side we just have straws, little pots and ramekins, glass jug, juicer, that kind of thing, drinking glasses, smoothie glasses, jugs for like gravy and custards, tea towels, napkins, little toast rack, and that's everything. Oh and some excess Tupperware. So this is our coffee and tea cupboard. Um, so again, everything's kind of like organized into little tubs. We've got Zara's tea, ground coffee, hot chocolate. These are little slices, <laughs> pieces of chocolate that I have with a coffee of a fancy, marshmallows, herbal teas, coffee beans, coffee pods, my vitamins, and then just travel mugs and tea brewing appliances and picnic stuff up top. If anyone does like this kitchen or is interested in where it's from, it's from Howden's. And you know what, credit to Howden's, it's actually 
The units are really, really good quality. The countertops are not great, I'm not gonna lie. They chip so easy and um, they're just not great. It's just like that classic, like scratchy wood chip material that just doesn't really last. This kitchen actually was redone before we moved in and it already chipped by the time the builders had finished installing it. So yeah, it's not good quality, but the actual cabinetry is. So this is the final cupboard. Little self-adhesive hooks are a great idea because um, I keep like measuring spoons on the back here that they just close when they're in use. And um, again, this is such a great idea for storage. So I got this, I think in, I think it was an Ikea for like, no, actually this was a HomeSense purchase, for like six pounds that so keeps all of your plates nice and evenly separated so you can just grab them without scratching them. And then yeah, we've just got the back some more cookware, some decorative plates for food styling, and some pasta balls. And then in these drawers, the top one is cutlery. This divider was actually already installed when we moved in, and it's so, so good. Again, the Howden's one is just plastic, so it's really easy to clean and maintain. But it's really generous size, so we keep all of like the larger utensils, and then slightly smaller bits, and then cutlery in there. This is the miscellaneous SHIT drawer. <laughs> um, this is a really good, hack this is from joseph and joseph if they still make this a link it below it's a knife organizer so so good so we've got like slightly more smaller like fruit peeler knives and then larger handle knives there metaluna little trivet for hot things again more storage i think this was actually from aldi um yeah from years ago so we keep like maggie's poop bags things to clip foods and close bottles and then the bottom is Tupperware and glass storage. Again, so we've got food bags, Sarah's lunchbox, my little sippy cup if I'm taking a drink on the go, ice molds, protein shaker, jam jars, whisks, chopsticks, the frying pan, little clip on things. Again, miscellaneous. <laughs> and then up top, I nearly forgot, this is all of our like large items that can't really fit in the cupboard. So we've got like salad bowls and fruit bowls, a little drinks dispenser, those are KitchenAid bowls, one's ice cream, one's a stainless steel one. Again, kickstands, that kind of thing. So that's it guys, I really hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry about Maggie's paws just pitter pattering around. <laughs> Any questions you have about like where anything's from, let me know, but yeah. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Love to you all. I'd love to know if you have any other storage hacks or solutions. I would always be open ears to them. But yeah, thank you so much. Take care and I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.